And what this is simply doing is, is comparing the repaired sources with the unrepaired sources. I'm actually going to blow up this window to take the whole screen so you can see its output because there's a lot of it. So first of all, in the original source, there's a whole bunch of non-C files that are not in the repaired. That's fine. But in each source file, such as AE.C, there's differences. In the repair, there's an include ACR.H. Down here, we initialize some variables to null or zero. Another uh, equals zero initialization. Some more initializations here. Uh, we include a null check uh, somewhere down here. What you're seeing here is mostly variables that were declared but not initialized are now initialized to be set to be zero or null or 0.0. .0. Uh, here's another source file. Uh, there are some source files that exist in the source but do not exist in the repaired output file. That's because the redemption tool did not make any repairs to those files. Again, every source file has an include acr.h, which is part of the repair because it provides some useful macros. Um, however, yeah, the, some files had no changes made to them whatsoever. So continuing on, here we go. Here we go in ZMalloc, the actually the last file. Here is a uh, here is a pointer, well, pointer to a to an integer, and we actually deref we did reference the pointer in the unrepaired code, but in the repaired code we check that the pointer is not null before we dereference it, and then we do that again down here. So this is a null check. This is the other type of repair that's done. Um, so it's actually the, near the beginning of ZMalloc, but that is how our repaired uh, re uh, redemption code works. And that is how you can use redemption to repair code that cannot be built inside the redemption container. <laughs>